So we've made it here to the Shackalette Bridge. This is probably the most recognizable spot on the Trail of the Coeur d'Alene's. If you Google the Trail of the Coeur d'Alene's and look at the images, you're probably going to see a few pictures of the Shackalette Bridge. And there's a good reason for that. It really is just a very, very special spot on the trail. Uh, to have this long of a bridge dedicated to cyclists, uh, walking, inline skating, uh, recreation, is really just a very un unique thing. And it's something we're really proud of here living in North Idaho. So we're going to go ahead and cross the bridge, show you a couple more neat things about the bridge, and then we'll head on to Hayburn State Park and to Plummer. top of the Chacolette Bridge. Uh, this is just a beautiful vista point here on the trail of the Coeur d'Alene's. Uh, to our north is uh, Lake Coeur d'Alene and to our south is Lake Chacolette. Uh, there's also the entrance to the St. Joe River uh, which is uh, known as the shadowy St. Joe. Uh, just a beautiful beautiful river uh, with lots of trees and wildlife. Uh, it's the highest elevation navigable river in the United States. Uh, this bridge was constructed in 1921, and uh, like the rest of the Trail of the Coeur d'Alene's, it uh, used to be a railroad uh, to cross Lake Coeur d'Alene here, and it would go on into Washington State. One of my favorite parts about the Chacolette Bridge is what I call the whoop de doos So as we go down the other side of the, uh, of the bridge, uh, there's these little bumps in the trail, and they're just so much fun. Uh, it kind of feels like being a kid again. And, and if you have kids on your bike ride, it really, really is a great time. Uh, when I go out with my kids, it's not uncommon that we will uh, go back up and down, up and down two or three times just to do it. Kind of feels like a roller coaster, and it's a lot of fun. So you'll see it here uh, as we video going down the west side of the Chacolette Bridge.